Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels and hopefully to the final attempt of the maiden flight the FMS Ranger 1220 If you watched the previous videos the first time the prop left the plane The second time we suspect the ESC was too small and it was overheating uh, Yesterday I replaced the ESC, it was a 20 amp ESC and now we have a 30 amp ESC and hopefully this is going to be a successful maiden flight Everything is a go. I also have a Mobius camera on top. Hopefully we'll get some in-flight footage from that. Let's do it. Final checks. Everything seems to be good. Taking off. Okay, I'm just going to take it to the ground, hopefully this will be the last attempt to maiden flight. I'm just about 40% throttle, just going to come a little low and slow. Looks nice. Flying nice, I like Rangers, hopefully this ESC won't burn out. Let's uh, right hand turn. Come over here. Doing much better. It still has a prop on it. That's good news. The ESC hasn't cut out yet or the motor. That's great news. And it is flying really nice and stable. Doesn't have any flaps, but I should be able to do like a nice soft touch and go. Not as smooth as I expected, but I will blame it on my ham-fisted hand. Let's see what it can do. Good. The rolls are kind of slow, but uh, that's to be expected. It's not an aerobatic airplane. Let's see how the rudder authority is. Ah, it's okay. Well, finally, it looks like this is a successful maiden. Of course, I should not speak too soon because things can happen. Just gliding, just gliding, back on power. Flies really nice, like, like its uh, little sibling, the Ranger 850 that I love, by the way. Okay, just gliding, let's see. I can do. That wasn't a very good touch and go, it bounced a little bit, but then I gave power. So, my feeling is on this one, uh, power off glides uh, come down a little fast, so maybe just leave 10 20 percent throttle. Let's try that and see if it goes a little better. That was a little better. Nice tight loop. That's good. That's the faster pass. Like the pass, not too fast. Too 
I'm trying to keep it close so you can kind of see the details. It looks really nice and scale. Flies very stably, but of course we don't have too much wind today. The wind situation is pretty good. So wing over, or hammerhead, whatever you call it. Does it fly upside down? Yeah, it does. I was giving uh, quite a bit of a uh, down elevator. But so far, so good. Can it do any knife edge? I'm turning. That's really knife edge, and that wasn't a good nice knife edge. Let's try again. Yeah, kind of. It's not easy, but you can probably make it to a knife edge. It has plenty of power for that. Oh, okay. A helicopter coming. I am going down. I'm just going to keep the plane low. Okay, that's the helicopter. You don't want any conflict with any helicopter. Let's bring it in for another touch and go, maybe slow it down a little further. That was much smoother. We have some speed demons. I have to be watch out for those. Let's bring it nice and close again. I love the colors by the way. I mean that orangey yellow looks beautiful with the white and black. One of my favorites color scheme okay coming in for a low pass let's see how, how close we can get that's nice to be able to slow it down like that coming in for the low pass Let's slow it down a little bit. Flies really nice and smooth, I like it. Keep my eye on those airplanes. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm going to land it now. I think this is a very nice maiden. Okay, here it is. Looks like third time is the charm. We finally got the middle ranger, the 12 20 millimeter wingspan ranger. So, made him successfully after a ESC implant. <laughs> it was a, a $8 ESC from Banggood. A couple bullet connectors and an XT60 connector did the job. And now we have a successful maiden. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of the final verdict 
yes once you resolve all the issues like loose propeller undersized ESC this is an excellent plane to fly it is not necessarily a park flyer you need a space larger than probably a baseball outfield but anything of uh, you know larger a large parking lot or a place like this would be perfect so I highly recommend it this was on sale when I got it $125 with the shipping and shipping insurance it cost me only $130 shipped to my door I couldn't believe it at that time they had Banggood had US stock when I checked yesterday this was uh, selling for $201 from China I think it uh, had uh, free shipping but still that's too much I wouldn't pay that much but if you ever find it around $125 plug and play PNP get it all right that's it folks stay safe and healthy hope to see you on the next video goodbye